when you're using a joinery machine, and this could be something like a biscuit joiner or a domino, a festool domino, or a dowel joinery machine, they all work the same way, which is they've got a fence that needs to rest on a surface. Now, there are areas where this can get a little bit problematic. So for instance, in this case, these two pieces of plywood are fixing to go together like this to create an L. And this is a great application for a loose tenon, biscuit, domino, or dowel. And it'll add strength, it'll register the surfaces. This one's easy peasy because there's a big surface here and we can set the fence on there, register it, easy to do. Where I've seen people run into problems is when we go to do this piece and we bring the joinery machine here, it's so easy to rock this. And if this rocks a little bit, the very thing that we're trying to gain, we're gonna lose. One of the things we want is a nice uniform distance from this surface to the slot that we're cutting. And if this happens, we're not gonna get that. So there's a fix you can do for this that's pretty easy and pretty straightforward. And that is simply have a piece of scrap. And the problem is this is narrow, it's thin. So let's make it bigger, let's make it thicker. Take a piece of scrap, make it flush with the top edge. Clamp it in place. And I'm just double checking to make sure it really is flush. And what that's gonna do, it's simple. It just gives us more surface area for that fence. Again, whether domino biscuit joiner or dowel machine, it gives us more surface area for that fence to sit on. Now, general use stuff when I'm using a machine like this, what I like to do is get it on the work and then rock it until I feel it go flat. And this is where having that extra piece of meat, that extra piece of wood behind there helps out. So as I roll that forward, if I was still just on a three quarter inch edge, it'd be easy to over roll it. But now because I can feel Right there, it hits that thick piece. Simple thing to do, but we gain a lot of support and it really simplifies what we need to do in order to make accurate cuts like this.